The midweek matches are here. Two high profile trialists out west and the U.S. men's national team enjoy some unconventional training next on The Daily. Hey everyone, welcome to The Daily here on MLSsoccer.com. It is Wednesday, September 5th. Josh Weisenhut joined by Simon Borg. And Simon, we have two midweek MLS matches tonight beginning with two teams in very different spots, New England and Columbus from Gillette Stadium. Yeah, Josh, New England, they are winless in 10 games now. They're going to get up against the crew team that's now in the playoff zone, looking at for their fifth straight win in this game. And you got to like their chances against the Revolution team that has a very leaky defense and a Revs team that's missing their two biggest weapons up top. Sire Sen out with a knee injury and Jerry Bankston gone with, on international duty with Honduras. So uh, given that scenario, you got to like the crew's chances. Crew with uh, Federico Higuain, the new player of the week, he's on fire. The only thing the Revs have hope with here is this is the crew's seventh game in 18 days. Fourth Wednesday in a row that they're playing, they might be a little tired. And of course that one is 8 p.m. You can watch it on MLS Live. Second match of the night on NBC Sports Network. We have a rematch from last week, Simon. Colorado Rapids and Portland Timbers, this one, will be at Dick's Sporting Goods Park rather than Jell Field where we saw them face off last week. And Josh, I know a lot of people look at this game and say it's a meaningless game. Wrong. The Portland Timbers going after their third straight win, first time in team history. It's only their second year in MLS, but with a win, they would move, arguably, into playoff contention. They'd be seven points away from that fifth and final playoff spot with a game in hand. And remember, Vancouver, the team they're chasing, faced Dallas in their next game. That's going to be a heated battle as well. So we've seen crazier things happen. But this Portland team is playing without pressure, and they're a team that if they can pull off this win here, I think are going to start believing. Will be fun to watch. Again, that one is 9 p.m. Eastern tonight. You can catch it on NBC Sports Network. Now, Simon, with the September 15th roster freeze date quickly approaching, we have some news about some teams that are still looking to add some pretty big pieces over the next week or so. Josh, usually at this time of year, you, you, you see teams making tweaks here and there, maybe a reserve defender just for insurance. But we're talking about two teams, two of the bigger teams and contenders for MLS Cup, going after some experienced European talent. We'll start first with Eder Gudjonsson, who's going to go on trial with the Seattle Sounders. Now, he's been rumored to come to MLS in the past, but now he's going to go for a week's trial with Seattle. And when you look at the Seattle team, they seem pretty complete. Where exactly would he fit in? He'd be a real luxury to have if you can land him, though. And of course, news out of LA. Christian Wilhelmsen, Swedish international, featured in their reserve match yesterday. And according to reports from Bruce Arena and Dave Sarek and their assistant, did pretty well. He did pretty well, although the team lost, uh, but here is a classic winger. He's a Swedish national teamer, and he knows how to play the wing. Uh, we've seen the Galaxy game transformed. I, I contend Hector Jimenez on the right side, a real winger, has helped the Galaxy a lot in this recent stretch where they've been successful. If you add Willemsen on the left, these are two players. The Galaxy have won games without natural wingers. Williamson would be a huge addition. We'll see how both of these stories develop as we continue towards that roster freeze date. You can follow all the moves on MLSsoccer.com. Taking a look at the leaders for week 26 in the Castrol Index. Simon, somewhat of an unlikely name at the top, don't we have? Yeah, it's Jackson from FC Dallas. We don't usually see him getting accolades in MLS, but he's really a productive player for FC Dallas. He's involved in a lot of what they do in their attack. Scored a goal against Seattle, but I bet he'd give up that top spot for a chance. Another crack at that chance that could have won it for FC Dallas against Seattle Sounders. But Jackson number one, and then the rest of the list, Robbie Keane. John Bush, Shalry Joseph, and another goalkeeper, Matt Reese. In the top five for the year, Simon is unchanged. We have Alan Gordon at the top, overtaking Danny Kuberman's last week, followed by Robbie Keane, Steven Lenhart, and Thierry Henry. You can take a look at the full list, the top 20, over at MLSsoccer.com. Finally, some news and notes from the U.S. men's national team camp down in Miami. Simon, as they continue their preparations for Jamaica, they had somewhat of an unconventional training session yesterday. And Josh, we've been waiting for this from Jurgen Klinsmann. You know, we heard of oh, so many stories of things he's done with other national teams. We finally have our first story. Jurgen Klinsmann bringing in a motivational speaker. His name is Donnie Moore, talking to the players, 
tearing phone books, tearing cans, and basically showing them that impossible is nothing, where they can go to Jamaica and get their first win ever for the U.S. national team after they played some basketball because it was raining. But uh, you got to like these Klinsman methods. We'll see if they work. Good times down there in Miami. More U.S. men's national team coverage on MLSsoccer.com. The Extra Time radio crew, Simon Yu, Greg, and Nick, spoke to Jeff Cameron yesterday about his recent move to Stoke City. Yeah, a revealing interview with Jeff Cameron uh, told us a lot about the going on at Stoke and a surprise revelation about him uh, training in, in the back line uh, for Stoke. And then we spoke to Brian Bliss, a refreshing uh, conversation with a technical director who's very open about that Federico Higuain signing. Be sure to check that out and more on MLSsoccer.com as we get closer to Friday's match against Jamaica. That does it for us here on The Daily. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow.